Hey everybody, I'm Sarah Gallegos and we are here on the set of Love of Quilting and we're filming our 3300 series. Today's actually the first day and we have started out with a bang. I've got my friend Carla Heron with me today. And I'm so excited because in both of her projects, she has been utilizing a lot of beautiful decorative stitches in the machine. There's so much fun to use and there's so many of them. And all of us buy a machine and say, I have 100,000 stitches on my machine, but I don't use them for anything. Right. Well, let's start them? using them. Yeah. They're, they're there, let's use them. Totally agree. So today we're gonna talk about stacking stitches first. Uh -huh. And stacking stitches are two stitches that are designed to be stitched on top of each other in different colors to make a combination stitch. It's a really neat effect. So the first thing I've picked is a leaf. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna sew on this little square I have just down the center of it. I have a multi-directional foot on because this stitch stitches sideways as well. And it's just gonna stitch some fun little cute leaves. That's neat. It could stand by itself. You could use it all alone, but it, it is meant to be stitched with the stitch we're gonna stitch on top of it. Yeah. And we talked about multi-directional stitches in the episode, but just to talk a little bit about, about it here, the fabric's actually moving side to side. So it's not just the needle positioning moving within the opening of the foot, the fabric's actually moving around too. So you need a special kind of foot and you can't use a walking foot with that. Right. So I get to the end of my stitch and that, so like I said, it's meant to be sewn with two different colors. So I had to take a quick minute here and switch to a different color. And while you switch your threads, why don't you share with us which machine you're working on? I am working on the Foth Performance Icon. It's okay. one of our, it is our newest machine. Uh -huh. And it is strictly a sewing machine, but it has lots, lots and of lots of decorative stitches on it. It also has the ability to create your own stitches. Neat. So say you have a stitch that you want, you know, maybe you want it to sign your name yeah. with your own signature. You can actually program that in as well, or oh, wow. you can take a stitch and you can alter what's in the machine to be the stitch you want it to be. So not so. only do you have 100,000 stitches built in, as you said, you, you can, can create more. You can just keep going. <laughs> now, with the second stitch I'm gonna pick, it's a little flower. And I don't want to get hung up that the center line is right on top of the center line that I've already sewn because okay. they're meant to intermingle. Okay. So we're just going to put this down again uh, using the, the center of the foot to just kind of line it up. But then when I sew the second layer, it's just going to stitch along and accent or complement yeah. the stitch that's already there. And I do like how it's sort of thoughtfully designed, so you don't have to, like you said, worry about it being exactly perfect on top. It's designed not to look that way, which takes some of the fear out of a technique like this, I think. It's a great little edge to put along a hem or a sashing on a quilt. So oh, neat. A hem on a skirt or a, you know, just a pillowcase, just whatever, just to give it a little bit of pizzazz. Oh, that's really cute. Get down to the end, I'll cut. And you can see how I've got it. My vines are just kind of intertwined. Uh -huh. Not real hung up on, on being right on top of each other. That's and really cool. It just cool. makes a, a fun accent. That is really neat. And then, so we've got another little technique to share here too. We do. We have a collection of stitches called floating stitches. Okay. They're meant to be stitched along a seam line mm -hmm. so that when you open it, they appear to be floating. Oh, cool. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take two pieces of fabric I am going to change back to uh, just a regular foot. So we'll put on my open toe foot. I like how you have a pocket full of sewing feet. I do have feet. a pocket full of sewing feet. <laughs> how many feet come with your machine? Do you get a lot of different feet with it? You do. You get okay. all the basic feet that you need. Okay. You get the specialty foot that works with the um, specialty stitches that right. come with it. Um, the walking foot is built in, so right. you don't have to worry about that. And, um, you know, then you just have to buy the feet that are special TDU. If you're yeah. an heirloom sewer, you might want the pin tuck foot. Right. So that would be an, a, a, an optional foot. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little piece of, of stabilizer behind my fabric okay. because I want my um, stitches to be stronger or my fabric to be as strong as my stitches. And I'm going to just pick little circles. Uh -huh. And I will sew a quarter inch in, but when I do that, I, I'm actually going to uh, take the time to attach my IDT, my okay. walking foot there, and I'm going to stitch, and I'm just going to stitch right along the edge of that fabric. Okay. And tell me when I need to quit. That's really neat. 
So it looks kind of like a normal stitch right now. It does. I would have top and bottom matching. Okay. I don't right now on my uh, performance icon. But once I've sewn along, I'm gonna go ahead and tell it to tie off and cut. And important with a stitch like this to make sure that you do lock in your stitches yes. or tie off at the end, right? Right. And I'm gonna go ahead and remove my stabilizer. Okay. At my house, this is my granddaughter's job. She Aww. loves to pull the stabilizer off. So then who has to pick it all up? <laughs> Grandma does. <laughs> and then I'm going to just take my pieces of fabric Oh, wow, and I'm going really to pull neat. them open. And when I pull them open, I see my decorative stitch, Very cool. but I don't see my straight stitch. That's really so neat. they appear to be floating. Yeah, that is, that is such a cool technique. So there are so many stitches built into your machine. Be sure that you start playing with them. Don't be intimidated by what's in the machine. Get to, get to working with them and playing with them. Use stabilizer, right? Right, use stabilizer, push a button, and just Pick a pretty color of thread and enjoy. And enjoy it, exactly. Well, thank you so much for inspiring us all and sharing all of this with us. It's fun to sew. Thanks for watching.